How to use reflective gradients in Photoshop? Well, the first thing to do, just go to the gradient tool and select the gradient preset. Now, once you've actually done that, you see the gradient presets there. And these ones are from graphic extras, but you can, of course, use any gradients you want. Then go to the reflective type up the top. You can see the reflected, just along the top part, you've got reflected. What you can do then is go to view and new guide layout and set two and two. Just makes it easy to apply the actual reflected gradient. So once you've actually done that, click OK, and you can see these guides just there. So make sure you've got reflected option there, you've got angle and reflected, make sure that's on. And then just go to the center position. Of course, you go to the edges as well, but just go to the center and then just drag out from it. Just makes it easier to locate the center. And then just drag to the edge. And you can then see the reflected gradient. You've got obviously two yellows, you've got two blues at the end, and the blacks obviously in the center there. Now, you can obviously apply it different ways. You can go up and down, right and left, etc. Now, you can obviously apply any other gradients as well. You can also use difference mode and apply it again. Apply it obviously the gradient again. You can use a different gradient. It will still all be reflected. So you can just select another one in the presets and then just drag across and just you can see the design there. And you can create multiple different gradients using this. Also, what you can do, because it's a seamless tile because you've actually created it using reflected, you can actually then store it away in the passing command, define passing by the edit menu. You can also use another approach, is new fill layer and gradient. And again, just select one of those gradients and you can then set the style to reflected. And you can see the reflected there, you've got the orange at the top, orange at the bottom. You can change the angle. There's an angle there, you just move it, turn the angle around there and just apply it. You can set the scale if you want. If you want it's still reflected, you can see you've got a large amount of orange there. Click OK. Now you can apply multiple gradient layers and go back to that uh, layer menu, add another one, and add another one, and add another one. Maybe use different presets. Just the key thing is use reflected or just use an actual gradient that's already. So you've got this one to actually uh, click OK. It's actually a reflected gradient I created. The stops are equal both sides, so you've actually got that reflected anyway. Again, you can use blending modes, difference there. You can also then go and create another gradient layer. You can see all the layer panels, obviously the layers panel there. Layer and new fill layer and gradient and click OK, and again, select another preset, just go there. As long as you don't shift it in any particular way, you can, it, if, as soon as you shift it, that's gonna remove, remove the reflected part. So you select reflected there, you can see the bands at both sides, click OK, and there you have it there. And again, you can change the blending mode just along the top there, just maybe set it to difference or darken or something else. You can see the designs you get there. Hope you found this of interest, thank you very much. Find lots of gradients on graphic extras.